obviously Greg had mentioned this, you look physically stronger this year. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is the game uh, weight some more or strength? Um, I'd say a little bit of both. Okay. Kind of bulk up a little bit, get a little stronger, but then I think strength's a big thing. You don't always see strength in someone right away, but um, just being able to like box out, post up, hold your own in the post a little bit more, because I, I learned last year how physical a Big Ten is, so just trying to gain that extra weight this summer was trying to, a big goal for me. So what you're saying is you wish Kofi had come back for another yeah, year, exactly. so you yeah. can <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. It, yeah. How, how how do you think just using that weight though? Yeah. Um, you know, how how have you seen it help your game, and yeah. or are you still trying to learn to use it? Um, I think it's helped my game. I think I've kind of figured out how to use it a little bit. Still getting used to carrying this much weight, but um, just like I said in the post, being able to hold your own. And, whether it's a box out or playing post defense or backing someone down, I think that's where I see it most is down low. And then setting screens too. There's a lot of stuff that that it affects, but I think I think it's an add to my game. Do you ha do you have to remind yourself to to use it at all? As being a guy that kind of always came up as more of a, a finesse. Um, um, not really. I kind of learned last year you got to be physical or you're gonna get your butt kicked. So I think just trying to build on that, trying to become more physical in the Big Ten is what you have to be. So I think just learning every day and stacking these practices on top of each other has been big for me. You mentioned you're used to yeah, getting weight. Where did you end last year? And where are you? Oh, uh, I was probably like 234 last year, probably 245 right now. Yeah, so 10, 11 hours. You had the luxury of a guy like Chris Bolt coming yep. behind you last year mm -hmm. if you got in foul trouble. Yeah. Um, obviously, this year there's kind of a hole at yeah. that backup center spot. Um, you know, what do you think about Chris or yeah. maybe even some other guys having to play bigger yeah. than they're accustomed to? Um, no, I think Chris has done a good job this summer. He's uh, shown uh, tremendous improvement. Um, he hasn't played a game since his junior year, so just knowing that, it's been really crazy just to see the strides he's taken. And, like I said earlier, we guard each other every practice. It's physical, it's a battle every practice. So I think he's going to do a great job. Great job this year. Then playing Marcus and uh, Carter Gilmore, if you play smaller, they might have to play the four or the five. So just them be, uh, being able to be ready to be versatile and um, just, just give them whatever the game takes. Or I don't know how to say that. But, Take whatever. Uh, yeah, there you go. Something like that. And then just losing Brad, Johnny, in that backcourt, yeah. obviously those are tough blows. But, but what do you think that will allow Chucky mm -hmm. to do this season as he kind of takes over? Yeah, no, um, Chucky's always kind of been a leader. As a point guard, you kind of have to be the leader. So, But I think it's an open up shots for a lot of guys. Obviously, Brad and Johnny were great players. They they shot a lot of shots. So this is uh, be up to a lot of us to take a uh, step in and take those shots. So. I'm guessing you feel good about the trio of you, Tyler, yeah. and, and Chucky. Mm -hmm. Is the depth there yet, or do you think that's kind of a work in progress to get these guys to step into new roles and, and work the yeah. transfers in too? Just don't know mm -hmm. you guys. No, it's always a it's always a work in progress. Like I was last year, just never playing in the Big Ten before, never really. I didn't play freshman year, so just starting to play again, just starting to get some of these guys ready to play. And I think our new transfers and freshmen, I think they've all done a great job so far. So um, just trying to mesh as a team, and like I said earlier, just stack these good days on top of each other and grow as a team. You know, Kofi's gone, but there's some yeah, stuff around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's some big still here. Yeah, yeah. Seems like there always is. Sorry, Jim Nassim. I was curious. You, yeah. What went into the process of kind of bulking up and adding some more? Yeah, no, I've always kind of known um, I have to get stronger since I was a freshman, just trying to put on weight that year I didn't play. So, and then last year actually playing in the in the games was big for me, just learning how physical it is in the Big Ten. you got to be stronger. And, you can't really be too strong in the Big Ten, so just trying to add that weight this offseason was big for me. For Chris, he's obviously never played in a Big Ten game. What have you, yeah. what lessons have you maybe, or what have you talked to him about? Um, in the I'd say, like I said earlier, probably just trying to compete against each other every day as hard as we can, because that's what we're going to see every night. And um, I think, like I said earlier, he's done a tremendous job with that. Because um, we're always guarding each other, we're both the biggest guys. So just trying to push each other to what we're going to see every single day. Uh, and on the D1 level. So some guys kind of go about adding weight differently. For yeah. you, was it just a matter of lifting heavier or are you um, trying to have to stuff everything down your mouth? A uh, little bit of both, <laughs> yeah. With my ability, you kind of got to eat a lot and drink a lot of protein. So um, it was, it, I'd say it was a good mix of both, trying to eat, eat as much as I can, to be honest, just trying to feel the body and then um, trying to lift and make those, make those muscles stronger. How, how much weight did you end up eating? Uh, 10 or 11 pounds okay. right in there, right in that range. So, yeah.
Yeah. Your roll figures to increase this year, both yeah. on both ends. Mm-hmm. Curious if there are any specific parts here again you look to? Is it pulse or um, pull of shooting or anything like that? Yeah, I'd say probably just adding to the the um, repertoire you got down low. The post moves you can you can go to down on the post. But then I'd say the other thing is consistency. Just trying to be more consistent, whether it's the jump shot or um, playing a certain amount of minutes. And you can be more consistent with everything at this level. So I'd say those are the two big things for me.